James, welcome, and happy WrestleMania Day. I've been up for 24 hours, by the way. How dare you. I've been doing nothing but cleaning all day. Okay. <laughs> happy WrestleMania, everybody. Oh, Pyro. Oh, With me is, is Bob right here. What's up, guys? How you doing? Bob's first time being back here for a pay-per-view in God knows how long. Oh, yeah, like oh. a years. Yeah. We're ready for to watch WrestleMania. He's all in duck. Oh, you bet. Or I can stay wearing duck covers. <laughs> Not healthy, but it's okay. <laughs> Mr. Who Bones. Who went the furthest in ba basketball? The Oregon Ducks. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Bones. Scott's over there. Brandon's over there. And uh, we're going to get the little guy. Um, Ozzy's down there. And I find it funny. We're starting off the Universal Tile Match first. Well, I wouldn't be missing anything. And who are we starting off with? Uh, Seth Rollins versus Brock Lesnar for the Universal title. Who do we got? I already know who Brandon's going for. He's going for Brock. He has been <laughs> Brock. I'm going for Brock. 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 I'm going with Seth. I'm just wrong. I, 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 I could be wrong. I could be wrong. You are wrong. Uh, I go for Paul Heyman. <laughs> if we're going that route, I'm going with Alexa Bliss. <laughs> I think Scott's with me on that one. Yeah. <laughs> but I find it funny. WWE's always been focusing on the Universal Tile match to be like in the middle or the main event. Now <laughs> starting off the pay per view for the first time. Yeah. Seth Rollins is the new Universal Champion. Yeah, how long is he going to keep it? Because. Uh... If you haven't seen his back, his back's fucked. I give it 24 hours because they're going to show a replay tomorrow that he used. A, he gave him a low blow and all Thanks that kind of stuff. Thanks for the press box. It's really cool up here. No problem, man. It's, better, it's warmer in here than it was outside the building. It's yeah. cold outside. That's true. I'm, <laughs> Scott? <laughs> he cheated. He ain't lying. He is, Seth actually legit cheated. He low blowed him <laughs> after taking out the ref. So the kid's bitch here, look at this. <laughs> I, I have a kid! <laughs> so does he, uh, he Slater. I have four kids, apparently, because four, four people... Brandon, <laughs> your thoughts? On your guy, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's okay. They'll show that again. Heyman's going to be in the ring. Where's Heyman at? Oh, uh, here's the replay. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Yeah, a replay. But yeah, Seth was, was pretty much. Destroyed. Yeah, he was the only one who was getting destroyed in this match. I mean, his back is all screwed up and all that kind of stuff. The only way to, to, for Seth to win is give Brock Lesnar a low blow. And when you hear Scott saying he, Seth cheated, he's not lying. And he did. Like, you see, look, like, here's the. Uh, that, that helped the low blow. Instead, Dick kick, kick, Dick's kick sitting, it's punch Dick. City or whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm working Dick on it. Punch City. Dick Punch City. There we go. And he kicked him in the So far, we had different <laughs> tile changes. We have a new Cruiserweight Champion. We have new Raw Tag Team Champions. Now we have a new Universal Champion. Look at Heyman. Look at Heyman. Heyman's <laughs> face. Look at that guy's face. <laughs> oh my God, he's crazy and he enjoys this. <laughs> uh, well, Seth's back's fucked. Pretty much. And fireworks. Yeah. Okay. I give it about. I give it till tomorrow. You give it 24 hours too? Mainly because of his back, but uh, but also the low blow. Situation. Most likely the low blow. He'll be okay. Yeah, have you seen his? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the cop to the crowd. Helicopter. He never see it again. No. I'm just Back waiting for that to happen someday. <laughs> Not just oh, did you oh, see? <laughs> fuck you, it's all got it. Yeah, Randy Orton versus AJ Styles, the phenomenal one versus the Viper. Uh, who are you going with and why? Orton. You going with Orton? Orton. Orton. Why? Orton has been out of the top ten for a long time. 
And I think that his next match will be his last after he wins this. So oh, yeah? Randy, he's about to retire. What would you vote? I don't know. Randy's been, I don't know. It's like, how many times is Hulk going to retire? Hmm. How many times is Jerry Waller going to retire? Back. Yeah. Hogan retired, I think, like twice already. I know, but he's More still times than Flair and Terry Funk. Rick Flair has never re he was retired, but he's always comes back. What about you, if, Randy? If, if Randy retires, he will be back. Randy? Bones! AJ Styles or Randy Orton? AJ. AJ, huh? Because they. What wrong. about you, Josh? I'm also wrong. <laughs> AJ Styles. He's also wrong. <laughs> Maybe. Ask uh, Ozzy. Ozzy, who are you going for? It's just like I Randy. go for my viper. He's no. going for the animal. She's going for hey. food. He knew he's going for the animal. She's <laughs> going for belly rub. Oh, look yeah, at that hand. So, AJ Styles won the match, so that means the E-Team has four points, by the way. But here's the thing. Uh, there's been a couple times that Rain Yorn should have won. Yeah. He went down with that, that, that three there count. There was one, two, three. And, then and there, there was, was a ten count, but the referee stopped. One, two, three. Like, ten doesn't, doesn't do anything. I mean, Bob, you saw the whole thing. Like, explain what the... Randy Orton had him pinned down. His butt was off to get out, but he didn't clear the mat with his shoulders for the... Last uh, one hand down on third count. Oh, and the uh, 10 count? Oh. 10 count, they were. And Randy was in, he was out. Randy should have won. So, yeah, I'll even fully admit, even though we got four points, I'll fully admit that Randy should have won the match. But I'm happy that we got four points, though. Um, all right, it is now for the SmackDown Tag Team titles the Usos. Versus Aleister Black and uh, Ricochet versus The Bar and versus Rusev and Nakamura. Is it a three way or something or what? Four way tag Four -way. team. Johnny Boy? Uh, you, or are you going to wait for a Charlotte's match? Tag? Uh, all right, he's there. You're going with the Usos? No. <laughs> Who are you going for, Josh? I'm going with uh, Nakamura and Rusev. If I was in, I would have went for Ricochet and Alistair. Mr. Thorell going. Yes? I'm going for the opposite of you. I want to see all the matches in the ring. All right, it's now time for the Falls Count Anywhere's match. Miz versus Shane O'Mac, Shane McMahon. Who are we all going for? Miz. 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 Oh, yeah, by the way, tag. Okay. Um. He's going to go with McMahon, you know. No to the big yes. Oh! Got one McMahon, red the Miz. Yeah. So everybody's going for Miz, except for dead. Brendan. I'm going for Miz's dad. <laughs> okay. It's now for the WWE t Championship. <laughs> but just to let you know, how many points do we have? You guys have seven, and we have zero. What's that? From Aberdeen, Washington. So right now it's for the WWE Champion. We got new Women's Tag Team Champions, the Iconics. John's favorite tag team. No. His girlfriend. No. No. They won the tag team titles. I'm happy about that. Now it's time for the WWE Championship. Who are you guys going for and why? Bob. Kofi's had it too long. Brian, I mean, Brian's had it too long. Brian, Kofi's got to win it. Yeah. Kofi like because... Kofi's never had it. Debra, okay. Kofi because I hate... If I was in, I would have gone with Daniel Bryan, but I'm not in. Here are pieces. Has Kofi ever held a belt? Nope. No. Never have. That's why. Actually, yeah, he has. No, he hasn't. Uh, the United States? No, the main belt. He's talking about. Oh, the main belt? No. 
Oh yeah, by the way, you still can attack me and the bell wrong now. The ultimate Fuck you. <laughs> Kofi Kingston just won. He is now the new WWE champion. champion. And Bob picked him. Vanessa, Scott, and John picked him. Uh, Brandon went with Daniel Bryan to... Along with you. I'm not in, so I don't count. Oh, you don't count. Who would you pick, though? I would have picked Daniel. Yeah, oh, look at that. There's his belt. I'm sad that belt's gone now. I'm not. Why that? Now the score is eight to two. I'm actually happy we got a new champion. I'm just sad to see the wood belt gone. I am not. I am. I am not. You gotta admit, it was kind of cool for a change of difference. I hear that box. I bet it's, I still think it's full of clap jack. No, it's full of pancakes. Pancakes, I don't need pancakes. Oh, little shirts, they went there. Oh, they're gonna throw it. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You gotta throw it on the ground while you throw it. <laughs> you know what would suck? You know what suck would suck? If Kofi lost, then they had those shirts. Still could throw them on the ground. Uh, you are you already pictured it, huh? Like, oh god. We waste our money for this. <laughs> it was a good match. It really was a good match. A long time ago, that's for sure. Yeah, I agree. So Kofi, for 11 years, he's officially a WWE champion. He's held every championship belt in the company right now. The match between Samoa Joe and... Rey Mysterio was, if you blink, you missed it, match, pretty much. Yeah, literally. That was gotten smaller, but we called this one Roman Reigns did beat, but what's his name? Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre. Roman won the match. Technically, I'm um, not that surprised, but it was, um, it was it was a decent match. It was okay. What was that thing he did? That? Ooh, what was that? Uh, I don't know. Bulldog or something like that? Something like that. So what's the scoreboard now, Vanessa? They've already, they've already surrendered to the defeat. <laughs> this is the most amount of points that the E team has ever had. Yeah. Yeah. Me, John, and Brandon were the E team. Uh oh. You know what the E stands for? No. And it, oh yeah. I'll show you the logo later. No but yeah, deal. it's um, and uh, I'm excited that we're in the league for once. Feels weird, I can tell you that. And who's up next? Uh, my guess is Triple H versus Bautista. And who are you, who are you picking on that one, girl? Triple H. Ooh, Bob. I'm gonna, uh, yeah. It, well, but here's I'll, the thing. I'll, I'll, I'll pick Triple H if Rick shows up. But here's the thing. If Triple H loses, his, uh, his wrestling career is officially over. He can no longer wrestle ever again. That will never happen. He's the owner. I know. Yeah. So that's just the proposal. I already know who you're going for. Triple H, right? Yeah. I think... I want to I say will go Triple H. I will go with Triple H on one condition. If Ric Flair walks out. I want to say Batista, but I know Batista's going to lose, so... Come the ladder, man. I gotta go with Triple H. Doctor Thugonomics, John Cena was back. The re I'm not. We're not watching it right now. It just ended. I we just wanted to watch it because it was it was so hilarious. To, it was so cool to see Doctor Thugonomics, John Cena back. That was so cool. Best jokes I've ever I've heard on there. <laughs> what did you think, Bob? Was that your first time seeing Doctor Thugonomics, John Cena? Yeah, it's been a thing like that. Yeah. Match is just getting ready to start. So we're all going for Triple H. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this match. I, I think Rick will be there. I really do. You think Rick Flair's going to cost I Triple H? If Rick's going to be there, he'll win the match. I think Triple H will win if Rick's there. I, I keep hearing that I owe my career to him. And the future 
Well, that's him right there with the hair on his head. Yeah. So, I got a question for you guys. Who do you think is the better to be a, a bad guy? Triple H or Batista? I don't know. I think Triple H, because he's been a bad guy his whole life. Yeah, I agree. He turns like a switch. <laughs> But I'm excited to see this match. No holds barred. I'm well, I'm calling for like it's uh, calling for Triple H and Ric Flair. Ric Flair helped Triple H win. Triple H, I stays. call it. Triple H stays in the WWE, which we Rick all did not help. He did not intervene. He just said something to him. He distracted him. Yeah, that's about it. And he had to use a sledgehammer on him. The match was decent. It was okay. Kind of boring, but it was all right. Hey, well, in my opinion, it's kind of, but I'm glad it's you more enjoyed. physical. But I'm enjoying the pay-per-view. Well, that, that means Triple H can still wrestle. Yep. There's Rick. Okay, now the score is the E-Team has 14, Sexy E-Team has 8. Oh, you, there might be a chance. There's still a chance. <coughs> There's only one more match, though. Mm, no. There's, There's two, two more. Two more. What else? Intercontinental title match. Oh, yeah, and then the girls. Yeah. Baron Corbin versus Kurt Angle, and Kurt Angle's last match. We're all going for Kurt, except for Vanessa, because why? My, my golden uh, dude is by Corbin is the right official was trying to separate the two men. So that's why. <laughs> of WrestleMania's favorite son. The match that everybody did not want to see. Oh, Kurt Angle quit? No, not just that, because they didn't want to see Kurt face Baron Corbin. Over and over again, right? Shut up, Corbin. Stop monologuing. That's the uh, heel's greatest weakness. You knew at the point that he had to hang it up, that it was time to... I want to ask Kurt, why do you wear one glove in every match? Tribute to Michael, by the way. Michael Jackson? Yeah, and probably. broke a finger, too. That, too, yeah, probably. Kurt Angle lost his match. Vanessa won the point. Now she she could catch up. She's got ten points now. Kurt saying goodbye to the crowd now. For the Intercontinental Championship, it's the Demon Finn Balor versus Bobby Lashley. Who do we all pick? Bobby Lashley for you. Finn. I think Finn. And Finn. So far, Vanessa, you guys start off with zero in the beginning, and now you're close up. You're catching up. We are back in the game. What Bob said, back in the game. New Intercontinental Champion. And Bella. And one way it looks like that is face. One ugly dude. Not to women, they find them attractive. Well, because it's about the face on a pretty good guy. Yeah. Probably knocks the wind out of you when you get stomped like that. You hit him and you know he's falling to the side at the same time. New Intercontinental Champion for the second time, Finn Balor is champion. And where did he win it at this time? WrestleMania. What number is this anyway? 35. 35. It has been an incredible WrestleMania. <laughs> yeah, one every year? Yeah, every once a year. Now, we got one more match. Oh, yeah. The main event. The first ever. That will be the tiebreaker, won't it? Nope. Nope. How much does the E-team have? 15. And I have 10. There's no way for me to recover. So, in a way, does that mean the E-team won? Yep. The E Team won. We are the new OWO YouTube Tag Team Champions. It is time. Has Ronda gone bad? Yes. Oh, then that may be different. Story. It is time for the main event of WrestleMania. The first ever women's triple threat match in the main event of WrestleMania for both Raw and SmackDown Women's Championships. 
Raw Champion Becky Lynch versus SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte Flair versus the man Becky Lynch. The winner of the Royal Rumble. And I'll just tell you who's all going who. Bob is going for Ronda. Uh, yeah. Vanessa is going for Ronda. And of course, Brandon's going for Charlotte. Go figure, right? <laughs> and I'm going for my girl, my woman, Becky Lynch. But I'm excited to see how this match turns out. And you know what's the weird part about this pay per view? No taker. That's the weirdest part that's happened this WrestleMania. No what? No Undertaker. Oh, yeah. First year, isn't it? Huh? First year, isn't it? Since 2000. Uh, Becky Charlotte. won the match. She is both Raw and SmackDown Women's Champion. The man has won! It wasn't a fair count. Watch it. Here it is. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh, there's Rowdy. Up, up. up. See, so he had one end out. She came up. He didn't start again. See what I'm getting at? You saw it. You saw it with a bad call. I did see nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. Watch it again, man. Let's show it to you again. I don't know what he's talking about. All I saw was Becky Lynch winning. Yeah. <laughs> you saw it and you won't admit it. I didn't see nothing. All I saw was Becky Lynch win, become a double champion. She won. Yeah. Hell yes. She's counting down. Her shoulders came up. Instead of going one again, two, three. Paper is over. Becky won. Rob, Bob. Bad referee. Bad ref. <laughs> Got like that guy Drexel and his boy. <laughs> My girl Becky won. I'm excited that she did it. Randy won. Did Randy win his match too? Randy? No. AJ. That was a good WrestleMania. I was like, Bob, what did you think of WrestleMania? Great, great match. Great match. Yeah, indeed. See my buddy Rick there? That made it worthwhile. Right there. <laughs> what about you, Brandon? What did you think of WrestleMania? <laughs> good. I thought it was a great WrestleMania. I know a lot of people thought this pay-per-view was going to suck in your face. It was a great pay-per-view. And it's off the air. Yep. Becky won. Jeez. I want to thank you, John, for having us over here to your skybox for this match. Thank you, Bob, thank you, for buddy. coming over. Thank you guys for watching. The E-Team is now. now we we got to go meet the wrestlers now. Yeah. Definitely for sure. You could use a little uh, Now the E-Team has won the YouTube Tag Team titles. We are now two-time no no like all of us together two-time but for you you're a three-time champion oh my god way to go bud thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to Oregon wrestling observer and also the owo reaction channel and also the maniac podcast bob could be uh, helping out with the podcast you bet we're gonna get this thing going live awesome all right, Maniacs, thank you for watching. Have a good night. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Broken bones from parts unknown Simplify wonders of why Broken promises